All right, this is gonna be a short video on some Overwatch 2 settings for boosting FPS, making the visuals a little bit more clear, and reducing input lag, things like that. So from the home screen, you just press Escape. This takes you over to Options. And so the first thing you're, you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, go here, select Custom Resolution. And I recommend turning this down to about 70%. Now, with that, there's this new thing, high quality upsampling. And you want to turn that on and set this to around 80% at 70. This will basically have no impact on the visual quality, but will boost your FPS by a significant amount. Now, with this setting, if you do have an 80 AMD GPU and you have the Radeon software, they have newer versions of this and I would recommend just turn this off and use the InDriver software. All right, so then for the FPS, you wanna make sure that your FPS is somewhat consistent. So consistency in your frame rates, you know, if 90% of the time you can achieve your locked FPS value, you probably want to keep that. So a new thing for Overwatch 2, the reduced buffering has always been a little bit bugged in Overwatch 1. Well, not always, but it got bugged around three years ago, and it's never really been a true flawless reduced buffering implementation. So, but for Overwatch 2, it causes stuttering, it causes input lag, Know, visual desync all of that stuff so I recommend just keep it off there wasn't always like a strong case for keeping it on anyways so if you have lower FPS you're gonna benefit from having a buffer and if you have extremely high FPS beyond your refresh rate then you'll also probably benefit because the frames are refreshing so quickly that this isn't really an issue um, so basically you probably want it off anyways, and since it's so buggy, just keep it off. Um, for the gamma correction, contrast, brightness, uh, brightness in Overwatch is a, a little bit poorly implemented. So I turn my brightness down because what it does is it just washes out all colors. So rather than like actual, you know, brightness of the light sources being different it kind of just like projects some whiteness and i didn't really like that so i turned this down and then i increased brightness through my monitor or through my software um, and then contrast another thing not quite well put together here gamma correction i like this a little bit higher um, and then for the graphics quality, um, the main thing, texture quality doesn't really matter too much. If you're like, if you have a modern GPU, this pretty much doesn't matter. If you have like integrated graphics or an older GPU, then yeah, probably turn this down. But these days, basically keep this on high, it just doesn't really affect much. But with that, you want your texture filtering to be lower and local fog low, dynamic reflections off, shadow details, these do have a performance hit, but the shadows themselves do benefit you, so I would, I would have them on low. Um, model detail, I just keep this on medium. They tie model detail to the actual player models and like things like plants and whatnot, and at like higher settings, you start to get like plants that'll block your vision and whatnot. So I keep it on medium. You can keep it on low, but yeah, definitely don't go higher than medium. Effects detail, low, there's way too many effects. You just want these on the lowest settings. Uh, lighting quality, again, low. Anti-alias, um, I would say probably most people want low FX AA if you're if your GPU and CPU can't get like 500 FPS or higher, 
Um, keep pushing the F FPS up, even if it's beyond your monitor refresh rate, it still has some benefits. You can look up exactly why. I can afford the medium, but yeah, lower off, it does significantly reduce the visual quality, but doesn't really have too much of an impact on how like aiming works. Refraction low, ambient occlusion definitely off, local reflection is definitely off, uh, damage FX low. Um, for the details, interpolation delay IMD uh, helps to know if you're like server lagging, latency helps to know if your network connection is lagging, which can also be a server issue. And then frame rate shows if your frames are dropping. Pretty much beyond that, and then system clock to know when you should go to bed when it's 4 a.m. Um, beyond that, that's the settings here. Um, go to sounds. So I turn the music off. It like it tends to get old, so if you like the music, you know you can keep it off. I or you can keep it on, but I turn it off. Um, for the sound effects volumes, these are like footsteps, gunshots. Honestly, I'm thinking that these are a little bit overdone in Overwatch Two. Like they kind of messed up the audio, but you can hear like a Zen shooting from literally across the map. Um, and then voice lines are, you know, informations that the players call out. And these can be, you know, really helpful. Like if an enemy pops their ult and you have these up, then they will, like, you'll know exactly where they are because you'll be able to locate it by the voice. And then, but you either want sound effects high and to use, you know, footsteps and gunshots to locate people and get information. And then in-game voices lower than that so that they don't crowd each other out or the inverse so whichever one you find better do that for the uh audio um unless if you have like dolby atmos headphones probably keep this on system and then pretty much headphones if you're using any headphones um play sound while it, when an enemy is eliminated. It's a little bit, you know, odd if you came from Overwatch 1. I recommend both of these on, and over time I feel like you get used to this. Um, now for controls. So, here, the, the main thing that caused this video, so you go over here to change heroes, and then you select like a hero like Cassidy and this setting right here recoil recovery aim compensation I keep this off it when you play other games if you're coming from other games basically how those work is as if this was off um, if you go on spray and Valorant you'll notice like when after you're done resetting from a spray and you have to reset your mouse will end up in the same exact position where you started that with this on that can become desynchronized so that your mouse is not in the same position you have to reset it to get to an optimal position but some people like this some people don't you know, personal preference really but i would say keep this off and then other heroes that you need to turn it off for uh widow doesn't matter too much anna doesn't matter too much i turn them both off anyways bap definitely a big one uh, Ash, definitely a big one. And yeah, that's all the ones that have the option. I wish you could turn it off on Soldier. Um, his recoil recovery is almost always inactive, but if it ever became active, it is terrible. So that's those. Um, let's see, let's go to gameplay. For network quality notifications, I keep this off because even with a decent connection, it will keep like popping up with notifications and they're essentially useless, but they, you know, they distract the eye. Even if you don't register it and you tune it out over time, this notification is, you know, not very helpful. 
And if you're lagging, you'll be able to see it with your ping and whatnot, uh, or you'll just crash. Um, enable high precision mouse input. This is almost a scam, but keep it on because you might get more no regs and whatnot, but you'll also get, you know, more hits where you kind of shouldn't have. So, yeah, I recommend keeping this on. Um, HUD. Um, oh yeah, turn tips display off. Achievement, neither. It's a little bit distracting. Now, if you're a new player and you like the achievements, you know, go ahead. But, yeah. Um, okay, these ones are the ones where you want to turn these down. So, if you've ever been in a game and you can't see a player through, like, you know, the cart's uh, waypoint, uh, that's what this is, but you don't want to turn it completely off because there are certain times like if you're dragoning from spawn and you don't exactly remember where the location of the the point was and you don't know if your teammates are necessarily on the point, then having a little uh, waypoint with a lot of opacity is helpful. Um, and honestly, the respawn icon, I don't know how much use it has, but you probably want that low too. Um, as far as socials, so friend request off, people will like spam you with this. You can just check it after the match or they'll say, hey, I added you um, or you know that someone's adding you. So I kind of recommend this off and then display friends notifications off again especially right now with all the dcs your chat will get spammed by you know this player has gone online that one's gone offline right you might put it on favorites but really if you know someone's online you'll check your friends list and queue or whatever and you'll be like oh that guy's online or they'll tell you you know i don't think this is too useful group members can invite turn this off um, allow people to join your group. You want this on, but I recommend friends only. Um, you could put it to invite only, but if you're telling your friends to join, you know, keep it open. But having it to everyone means you can just be, you know, sitting there after the match and someone joins your group and starts like, um, blaming you and whatnot. Receive group invites from only friends. Again, you can spam this if you have it anyone. Custom game members can invite only your friends. Receive invites. Again, people can spam this, so only friends. And for your profile, um, unless if you are like a flex player or you're a high rated player or whatever, and you know you want people to be looking through your profile, I would recommend just having this on private or friends only. Um, probably friends only. And hammer shake, what this has reduced. Um, HUD shake, off. Reduce men menu movement, uh, probably on. I don't know what it does, honestly. And I think that is all of the main settings. So that, that'll be the video. Uh, hopefully it's useful to some players, but those are my personal recommendations on the settings.